This video is guaranteed to cause some intense emotions. <laughs> Today, we're talking about trends you need to track. Bye-bye. Hi, ladies. It's Erin, and welcome back to my channel. My mission through my channel is to help you look like the best version of you. And part of that in the style department is knowing what's on trend and also, in contrast, what isn't. Because there's nothing worse than feeling like you look dated. You're getting called out by your teenagers or your grandkids. <laughs> My goal is to make sure we all collectively look as modern and vibrant and energetic as possible, that we look on the outside the way we feel on the inside. So today I want to talk about some of the trends that are really on the way out. This video, I guarantee you, is going to cause some agitation. It's going to cause some anger, but then some of it you're going to be like, phew, I didn't like that anyway. I'm so glad it's going away. I have the same reaction. I heard somebody recently say that square toed shoes were out of style and I was like, wait, what? No, they're really hot right now. And they are in fact really hot. I get that it causes these kind of emotions. Don't panic. There's a disclaimer here and that is that you can always wear anything you want. Anything that makes you happy, that makes you feel comfortable and makes you feel confident. These are just guidelines. I'm just trying to steer the ship in the right direction. Let's get started. The first trend you might consider throwing out or donating are those overly ripped jeans. This one I'm sure many of you will be relieved by because you write me all the time saying you don't like them. So I know that most of you don't like ripped jeans. I happen to be a huge fan. But what I mean by overly ripped jeans are the ones where it was like rips up the thighs and rips all through the knee and just extensive distressing. Not like a little tiny rip here or there. Those are still very much on trend. It's the gigantic holes that are just totally out. No no one's wearing those anymore. Trash them. You may want to zip around town in booties or boots that don't have a rounded toe. This is very confusing because people are saying the square toe's out and the rounded toe's out. It's mostly pointed toe that is on trend. The rounded toe, although a classic, feels a bit dated right now. So this would be an example of a classic rounded toe booty. These are by Rag and Bone, by the way. I love these, but I guess they're going out of style. <laughs> I am going to hold on to them because I've watched in my lifetime it go from round to square to pointed back to round. I've watched the evolution. And so if you're around my age, you know that what goes around comes around. If it's a really good pair of booties or boots and they're in great shape, just store them. You don't need to toss them. This would be another example. I bought them through the Nordstrom sale like four years ago, I think. At least four years ago, might have been five years ago. Wow, I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> you can see here, it's a beautiful pair of boots, but the rounded toe is feeling a bit dated. So I'm gonna store them. Another trend that you need to trash and get rid of are extreme platform shoes like these. Okay, here's an example. These are YSL heels. I'm like, did I ever actually walk in these? Actually, they're more comfortable than the Christian Louboutin heels I have and the heel on these is much higher. It's just because of the platform, they were quite comfortable. This is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about an extreme platform shoe. So we wore them, there was a moment and now they're out. Here's another example of an extreme platform shoe. I'm going to keep these because they're so comfortable for the size of the heel. And I feel like it would be a great like 70s Halloween costume. I also kind of love them, so I can't get rid of them. But this would be an example of an extreme platform shoe that is out of style. See what I mean? It causes emotion. You're like, wait, but I like those shoes. What do you mean they're out of style? No. Okay, the next shoe trend makes me really sad. And I also kind of feel guilty because I really pushed it on you guys. Please forgive me. It's the wedge sneaker. I love my wedge sneakers so much because I'm 5'4 and I love wearing these, especially like traveling because it adds height without sacrificing comfort. However, the wedge sneaker is on the way out. No, I love you wedge sneakers. Goodbye, my friend. By the way, the sneakers that are on trend are the white leather sneakers like Golden Goose or the P448s. If you're unsure how to style your sneakers, which they can be very tricky, I did recently do a video, five ways to wear your sneakers and still look stylish and modern. You can check out that video after you watch this one, but there are some tried and true formulas that really work well for women, no matter what your age, with like the Golden Goose sneakers or just a regular pair of white leather sneakers. 
stickers. The next trend that you need to trash, dun, 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 skinny jeans. I'm talking about the painted on second skin jegging type skinny jeans. The jegging was the jean legging hybrid. So those that are just literally painted on your legs. Those are the type of jeans that are out. You can still wear skinny jeans. You can still wear tapered jeans. Where we're heading with jeans, which I talked about in another recent video where it's called hottest new 2020 fashion trend you need to try. And I talk about in that video how you can veer away from the skinny jean very subtly. You can do like just slightly tapered with a little bit of room in the legs. Though you can do a straight leg. You could do baggy, you could do wide leg, flared. There are a lot of options. The next trend that's on its way out are, that's another one. You guys are gonna be upset. I know it, I feel it. Cold shoulder tops. I had to say it, I had to say it, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm just the messenger. Cold shoulder and off shoulder, especially the cold shoulder. I personally am in favor of the cold shoulder going bye-bye, but I know some of you are gonna be really upset by that. Here's another one. It's gonna cause agitation, I know it, and I feel partially responsible for you guys getting pieces in this print because I've talked about it for like six years. Animal prints. Animal prints are on the way out. It's not as popular as it was. It's always a classic to wear like an animal print belt or animal print pair of shoes. You're just not gonna see as much of it and it's not gonna be as prevalent in as many pieces. No animal print blouses and blazers and pants. You know, we were doing all of it for a while. Now it's just calming down and we're going back to like a little pop here and there. The next one will be no surprise and frankly, I could really care less about this one. It's those teeny tiny micro bags, which I don't know anybody that would have carried one of those anyway. It would be like enough to fit a credit card and a lipstick and that's it. So if you had a micro mini bag, you might wanna consider consigning that or selling it on Poshmark or something and getting rid of that. The next trend that is dying, and that word is chosen strategically, is tie-dye. It feels like it just got here, right? But it's, yeah, it's on the way out. It, it was a fad. I still have a tie-dye sweatsuit that I wear around the house, which I'm fine with that. Nobody really sees that. And then I also have an Ula Johnson orange, very subtly tie-dye dress that I will still wear that I love. I just wouldn't go out and buy anything tie-dye. So if you're looking at a tie-dye t-shirt or a tie-dye set or tie-dye shorts or anything like that, I would just skip it now because I don't think it's a good investment. Last but not least, I'm happy to end on a positive note because I'm pretty sure most of you are in favor of this trend going bye-bye, are bike shorts. Just like I never quite understood it. It's like active wear with a blazer. It was always confusing to me and it was one of those things that I truly felt like you had to be young and very skinny to pull off. Which one of these trends are you just like, yay, I'm so glad it's gone and it's going away? And which one are you just like me where you're like, no, don't say it. Which one caused that kind of reaction in you? I know there was one on this list that did. So share that in the comments. Let's have a little fun with it. It's not meant to be super serious. If you want to know what's in trend right now for spring summer, I did do a wearable spring summer trends video. You can go back and watch that one. We'll put a link to it in the description box. Also just wanted to tell you that we updated our style made simple guide. That's a step-by-step -step guide to help you get your style back on track that we sell on Amazon. We will put a link to the style guide in the description box as well. Would love for you guys to check that out. Very helpful resource and tool and also very affordable. Okay, you guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.